We're here, we're here with Dominator 3, uh, North Kansas City at uh, Linux, uh, getting our protective coating put on the outside of uh, Dominator 3. Well, the Linux coating is a critical part of our uh, protection, really. Um, it's an extremely tough uh, plastic material that sprays over the top, a little over an eighth of an inch thick, um, and it adds a lot of debris protection to the vehicle. When it's sprayed over high carbon steel, it just creates an unbelievably strong surface, and uh, it absorbs a lot of energy and a lot of shock of large items hitting the car in a tornado. Dominator 3 is the latest in our uh, arsenal of uh, tornado intercept tanks. Um, it's, we, we have three uh, research vehicles now, and uh, what we're trying to do with Dominator 3, obviously it was designed to intercept very strong tornadoes. It's a, it's a large vehicle. It's based on a Ford F-350 uh, chassis and with a diesel. And it's also set up to be a first responder vehicle. We have uh, Jaws of Life, uh, you know, rescue tools, chainsaw, uh, big large winch in the front of it for pulling trees or anything out of the road that we need to. Well, Dominator 3 is brand new. We just brought it out around the 1st of May. Uh, but May has been very active, so uh, it's been inside of a couple of tornadoes already. Well, inside a tornado is, is a pretty scary place. Um, it's, when you drive in, you, you think it's going to be fun, but <laughs> it's not. It's pretty scary. Uh, very difficult to see. Uh, the pressure drops very rapidly. Your ears pop. Um, it, it's, it's actually a very inhospitable place. You, you really can't see a thing. There's debris hitting the windows. The car's shaking. It's... Uh, it's quite an intense experience. Just in the name of research, I mean, there's no other way to measure what we're trying to measure without getting right inside the funnel. Um, the mini vortices that happen inside a funnel, uh, these, are, these are things that just can't be measured from, from 100 yards away. Well, Dominator 3 was designed with an uh, airbag suspension system and rubber skirting around the base of the vehicle. So we can deploy that thing in less than three seconds. Uh, it drops tight to the ground keeps the wind from getting underneath, and then two 8-inch spikes drive themselves into the ground in less than five seconds. So um, it's pretty secure to the ground, uh, keep the wind from getting underneath to lift it, and then all the wind that passes over it kind of gives it, adds downforce to it, so it holds it on the ground.